Hey, this is Pete Hink. I'm over here at Crystal River and I'm here to interview and talk to guides that are actually excited about the fishing, excited about the seagrass, and excited about the water quality. Sounds impossible for something like this in Florida, but it's happening here in Crystal River. It's somewhat of a little miracle and with any hope it will do it throughout the state, but it's something else. Well, I'm here with Captain Dallas. He's one of the guides that have been fishing out of here at Crystal River, he said, for six years now. And uh, I think he's more excited about the water and the water quality now than when he first started. I mean, where can you find that in Florida? Anyway, he's going to let him tell his story about what he's seen. What's going on, guys? Uh, so this, this project that we have going here has just been incredible, absolutely amazing. Uh, I grew up fishing Florida waterways my entire life, uh, all the way back to my great-grandfather doing it. And uh, through the years, we've seen a, a deterioration of the grasses, not just in Crystal River, but uh, just, just everywhere. Um, Tampa's got hit hard, red tide. Uh, the St. John's River even has lost all its grass. And uh, to, to have this project and to see this grass thriving again, is amazing. Uh, I got friends here that tell me 30, 40 years ago on Kings Bay you could come out here and catch a limit of largemouth bass and then go out to the flats and catch your snook and trout as well. And I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, this Kings Bay is all fresh water and with that eelgrass coming back, we're starting to see bass fry, starting to get into big bass and uh, bedding season. I caught an eight pounder right here off the dock last year. So it, you can just really see the life coming back, the birds, uh, you name it, it's happening. Uh, when I first started this uh, about six years ago, I was also a uh, in-water manatee tour guide. So here in Crystal River is one of the few places you can actually swim with the manatees. We got manatees, fishing, scalloping, and that's pretty much Crystal River at its finest right there. So with this grass coming back, we're not only getting much clear water for those activities, but we're also getting healthier animals. We're seeing our, uh, our manatees thriving out here. Uh, the fish, the birds, you name it, it is coming to life. I absolutely love it. I got a bunch of friends who do it for a living um, out here cleaning it up and, and they're just showing me so much uh, grass. It is an absolute amazing project. You guys stand behind it and uh, help help out where you can. Pick up some trash and uh, let's clean these waterways up, not just for us, but our future generation. This place was filled, filled with algae, uh, lithium, uh, lithia. Limbia. 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 Sorry, Limbia. Of algae. What? No good. <laughs> that was nasty, but they cleared that up. They sucked that up. They planted seagrass. They stopped the spraying and they let the seagrass take over. And within a period, they started this whole project seven years ago. It was the very beginning. And now it's like unbelievable over this last year how things have changed. Give Mother Nature a chance. Mother Nature will clean itself up if we stop poisoning Mother Nature. It's amazing. I mean, this is definitely this 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 tells a story here so every every body of water is a little bit different but they can be managed in a way that we can clean it up uh, i'm looking forward to bass fishing <laughs> when this gets back right you know if you can yeah. go out there and hit the flats for the day redfish trout uh snook tarpon and then if you could come in and finish off catching a few largemouth bass i mean there's there's no better day than that in my opinion uh, most of my time growing up as a child was spent on the St. John's River, which is experiencing the same problems. And they just started the grass project there too at Silver Glen. And uh, I'm just looking forward to it thriving. I, I see it now and locals are wondering, oh, will it work? I'm like, yes, give it a chance, help out, do something good for it. Uh, when those guys come in with the dredges, it's incredible. They're actually opening up spring heads. We talked a little bit about that limbia, that that just clogged everything up and created almost a toxic muck, especially after we sprayed all that nasty chemical on it. Uh, and, and it's just thriving. Everything's thriving. It's coming back to life. Give it a chance. Clean up behind yourself and see what Florida can do for you. I like it. Well, guys, I'm getting ready to leave Crystal River. Boy, it's been an amazing couple of days. What I've seen in the difference in water quality just from six months ago is unbelievable the seagrass it looks like it's doubled in that time that I've been here I was able to talk to quite a few guides city managers um, city council people got all kinds of fishing guides diving guides tour guides and they all are raving about the water quality 
and the seagrass. It's the only place in Florida where the seagrass is expanding and growing. It is amazing what they've done here. Uh, wow, if you get a chance, come over here to Crystal River. I'm staying at the Plantation Inn. If you come here, you take a dive tour, dive with these manatees, swim in the springs. Or if you don't want to swim, take the tours, boats that go around, and it's, you can learn so much about the history. And they talk a lot about the improvements that have been made over the last seven years. Seven years ago, it was a mud hole. It was dirty water, kind of like what we find in most of Florida nowadays. But it has changed. And what they've done is totally amazing. And it took a whole community to come together to make it happen. So if it happens here, it can happen anywhere. So guys, get behind it. In your community, it can change. We can change Florida. We can change our water everywhere in the state. It's going to take a lot of hard work, but it can be done. So this is Pete Hink. Until next time, we'll see you.